Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. For today's video, I thought that I would cover something that has been going around Twitter and Facebook a lot within the blindness community. And that is how people talk to you when you have a disability. And I noticed this the other day when I was at the doctor getting my exam that I was getting. So, I don't know if y'all know this, those of you who are able-bodied, but people with disabilities are incredibly intelligent and smart, and some of them have way more college degrees and applications and certificates and awards than you will ever have in your lifetime. That's not a flex. I'm just telling you. Uh, I am the first person in my mom's side of the family to go to college. And you wouldn't believe how many times a member of that family has asked someone else in the family whether I wanted something or whether I needed something. With me standing right there. Like it wasn't a Christmas present or anything else. It was literally me standing right there. Also, I don't know why people think we're dumb. Like, do y'all think that a lack of vision influences how you think? Because, like I just said, I went to college. I have four degrees. Two of them are minor degrees. Which is more than anyone in my mom's side of the family has. <laughs> Okay, none of them have four college degrees. Some of them didn't even graduate high school. And I don't know if you know this, but this perception that blind people can't do things, like build things out of wood, or blind people can't teach, or blind people can't operate a computer, or blind people can't write music, or blind people can't play piano, or blind people can't run for office. That needs to die a very stabby, pointy death right now. Right now. Because I know for a fact that that is not true. Because I know for a fact that there was, or at least there was a couple of years ago, a federal judge in Missouri who is blind and has a guide dog and is actively serving on the bench. And you know how he got there? He ran for office! <laughs> okay, I know this because I saw the news articles where his dog died and then he was getting a new guide dog. I saw them with my own two eyes that don't work like I guess it would technically be my ears but you know what same thing sort of for me and you know what else I know someone who is blind well I know of someone who is blind who builds things out of wood for a living furniture picture frames signs you name it I don't know specifically what he builds but I know that he builds things for a living and he's blind I also happen to know that there are blind chefs because I know a blind chef personally and also before anyone goes down in the comments yes there was a blind chef on Master Chef, and yes I am following her on Twitter so I can tell you with 100% certainty that she has a Vietnamese restaurant in Houston, Texas. <laughs> Blind people can be successful. Why does everybody think we're dumb? Why? 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 Somebody please tell me because I don't understand. 
Why do I get talked to like I have a lower intelligence level than the sighted, able-bodied person standing next to me? Why? It's so annoying, and if you are an employer watching this, just know that that blind employee that you potentially threw away today, that you said, oh, we already filled that position, even though you didn't fill that position, so you basically lied to them, just know that that blind employee that you threw away, that you turned away, could be the best employee you've ever had in the whole time that you ran or owned your company. Just know that. Know that. And sit with it. And the next time you complain about people not wanting jobs, not wanting to work, maybe you should look within the blindness community. Because 70% of us can't work because you won't hire us. You won't. And I don't understand why. Why? Why can't we work a computer? Why can't we work a calculator? Why can't we work a cash register? Why can't we pick up pellets and boxes and crates and climb moving stairs to put them onto shelves? Why can't we help customers find items? Why? Why is your bias getting in the way of you hiring the best employee that will ever work for you? Because unlike these people out here who have been forced to work since they were 16, 15, whatever age they were, we've been turned away. We didn't get that opportunity. We didn't get to sit there and say, yeah, I worked for 31 years at this job and it was great and now I get to retire. We don't get to say that. We're the people that you complain about being on social security and disability. The people you complain about that want to work but won't. Or can't. We're those people. And the reason why we won't work is because you won't hire us. Hire a blind person. Hire a blind person to walk your dog. Hire a blind person to water your plants. Hire a blind person to take you down the street to a restaurant. Hire a blind person to be your life coach. Hire a blind person to teach you how to properly exercise. Hire a blind person to teach you how to eat properly. Hire a blind person to teach you how to work on your computer. Hire a blind person to teach you how to use your iPhone. Hire a blind person. Hire us, you know, hire us, hire us. There's no excuse for you not to hire us in the age of the internet. Literally, right now, you can open up a new browser window, go to google.com and type in the search box, blind federal judge in Missouri, and get tons of results, tons of them. Hire us. There's literally no reason for you to still act like we live in the 1950s. Not one. Not one single reason. You literally have the internet sitting right there. I make these videos for a reason, and it's for people like you, in case you stumble on these videos, and you're like, oh my god, this is a blind person and she can film herself, maybe she really can do this thing. Yes. Yes, I can. I can. And I also know for a fact that there is a blind videographer because somebody was telling me about her. A few years ago. In fact, it was my RSB, Rehab Services for the Blind Counselor. And she's very successful. Hire me. <laughs> Hire us. Make that statistic. I said that correctly. Anyway, make that statistic less than 70%. That's what we want. You want workers that work. We want to work. 
higher ass. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. I hope you liked this video enough to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring that notification bell. Make sure it's set to all notifications. Leave a comment if you have something to say. An idea, suggestion, question for future videos. I will take those. Like my Facebook page. Follow me on Twitter. I really need to change my personal Twitter on YouTube. Or at least take it off. Because I've changed my username there. That is invalid now. Follow me on Libri. Follow me on TikTok. My email address is Steffi on YouTube at Gmail. It can be found in the About section. The links I just mentioned can be found below the About section. And everything I just mentioned down below can be found in the description below as well. And if you are encountering a blind person for the first time, talk to them as if you would talk to any other stranger on the street. We're not dumb. We're not stupid. We don't lack intelligence because we lack vision. <sighs> like I said, some of us have more degrees, certificates, and awards than you will ever have in your entire life. That's not a flex, it's just true. <laughs> and we should be treated like your equal, not someone who is less than you. Remember that. Okay, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Let's change the world one day at a time, okay? Treat everyone the way you want to be treated. If you don't want people to talk down to you or treat you like you're less intelligent than them, don't treat a blind person that way, okay? Okay. Bye, guys.